I've said everything I wanted to say in the team meeting, guys, about phase me. And, I've, and I'll say it again, a lot of teams win or lose their entire season by what they do with these 40 days, especially individually. Challenge one another, keep in touch with one another, uh, stay connected to one another, and compete your ass off with yourself. You know, there's an old saying, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And so staying connected through these days when you're alone is very important so we can continue to uh, stay on that trail and that trek that we're trying to be on. But it doesn't stop here. It's not time for vacation. Kick it up a notch and get yourself ready for training camp. You guys good? Yes, All right, guys, break it down. All right, let's go ahead, boys. Hey, we got one goal. Let's win a championship this year. So everything we do from this point until February is intentional. Not on our mind. Okay? I want that mindset when you go out. Right? Think about what it's going to take. What are you willing to give up to win a championship this year? That's what it's going to take. Sacrifice. Staying together. Hell yeah. A little extra work sometimes. Yeah. Keeping in touch with each other. Staying connected. Being close. Yes, Last thing I'll say is, when you go out there, right? This Jets thing we got, right? This emblem, these letters, it doesn't stay at the facility. This travels with us. When we're out there, we represent ourselves, our teammates, and the organization. Let's do it the right way. Okay. Can't wait to see you, see y'all boys in 40 days. Yeah. Right? Damn right. Champs on three. One, two, three. Champs. Champs. Uh, can we say Aaron, can you please send my hat out? Yeah, man, Aaron, thank you. Can I get it? Where are you guys from? South Florida for me. Santa Barbara. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, you ready? Standing by. Ready, Garrett? And Includes $66 million. Ooh. That is the largest guarantee. I keep telling her she's a part of it. She don't want to be a part of it. Because he's like way gentle and he's soft and she loves it. Feel your entire body and mind settling into feeling at rest. And at ease. Do you feel like you could be the guy that sets that edge for this team uh, on Sundays? Yes. I thought he should do something calm for you in this new chapter of your career. It's kind of fire right there. Look. You already know it, man. Does it look like me? You never think it's going to happen to you with season any injury, right? You have that mindset where you, you definitely don't want to take the game for granted because, like, you've experienced before. It could be taken away from you at any moment, any time. My lady said, nope. It's hard for me to talk about, bro, because I'm just so ready to get back on the field. I'm just, just ready to prove everybody that, you know, I'm going to be one of the best running backs in the league for the next, you know, five to ten years. Have you ever been this excited for a season to begin, you know, with training camp week out? The Rodgers effect, it is palpable. Everybody is excited. Everybody knows the type of talent that's on this team. Internally, though, they understand they have a lot of work to be done. You know, it's been a while since I've been this excited. There's a lot of reasons for that, but first and foremost, there's a lot to accomplish this year. Walk out of this building with any regrets. It's supposed to push one another to do just the greatest city in the world. A tribute to the greatest football team in the world, the New York Jets. And now it's 7:27. Would like everyone in their carts in three minutes. Three minutes, please. Thanks. In sports, competition breeds excellence. And nobody wants to win more than Aaron Rodgers. All right. Easy part from there. In seven days, he will report for his first training camp in Florham Park after the stars aligned in a historic offseason for the Jets. Aaron Rodgers. 
Former Green Bay Packer, number 12, changed his number to eight. He's now eight for the New York Football Jets. For Birdie. A little chicken there, a little chicken, a little chicken. Aaron Rodgers is out of his darkness retreat and back in the public eye. Jets feel like this is moving in the right direction and that he could possibly wind up in New York. I made it clear that my intention was to play and my intention was to play for the New York Jets. Breaking news, Aaron Rodgers officially is being traded to the New York Jets. Yeah, the last few months have been a whirlwind for sure. You know, after I basically declared that I wanted to play for the Jets, there was a long waiting period. So I was just working out, hanging out, waiting for things to happen. And once it happened, it went quick. And it was basically trade on a plane, press conference, and then I'm with the guys. So things went quickly, but I've been having a blast. You know, that's well documented. I had a blast at Taylor Swift. I had a blast at MSG. I had a blast at the hockey game at MSG. I had a blast at Wicked with my teammates, went to the Tonys. So I'm just embracing everything my new life has given me. I bet, I bet you own a couple. Get on the Jets, get on the Jets camera. Oh yeah. Yeah. Go birds. Go birds. <laughs> who, made, who makes those shoes? Can you guys get this one on film here? Get this one. <laughs> Flight 23, Ryan Bumgarner, famous for Welcome to Mooseport, and Herman. No! Oh! Everything's new. So it's like the first day of school when you're the new kid from out of town. That was me a lot. We moved a lot growing up, and you just, you got to make new friends. You got to uh, meet a bunch of people. You also get to figure out exactly who you want to be. And it's exciting. So definitely a lot of contemplation in the off season about my life, my career, what I want to be moving forward, who I want to be moving forward. And I've really enjoyed the interactions with the guys, getting to know the new city. This is the push the hole with me. He has to make this to push. If this were hammer, I would be hammering him. Just like in football, I'm the old guy here. I mean, I've been here 19 years. The, the tournament's been, been generous enough to invite me every single year I've been in the league. It's something we all look forward to every year. Um, I've made a lot of friends from this event, Brian being one of them. I was a fan of The Office and a fan of a movie called Herman that he was in years ago that he hates talking about. Miles and I have been friends for 15 years. Love him and his wife. The deepest part of the park. Get legs. Get over. Oh! oh. Emphatic. <laughs> what a good shot. You guys got that? You guys got that? I think they're getting everything. The lights just pop the whole time. You know, I was a young player. The cool thing was there were some awesome old guys who took me under their wing and were kind to me and took care of me. Uh, the old quarterbacks, Marino and Elway and Steve Young were always here. I got to play with one of my heroes growing up, Michael Jordan, a number of rounds here. And he was phenomenal to be around. So this tournament's offered me a lot of, a lot of fun opportunities and we always look forward to coming back. Have a good one. Rob, you have any opinions about Aaron Rodgers on the Jets this year? Uh, I wish him the best. I think he's going to do great. Let's see you post a score tomorrow. That's what I want to see. Yeah, I'd like to.
training camp's a week out. You know, what does this team need to accomplish over the next, you know, five plus weeks to be ready for that week one opening? Well, we want to start the season fast. We've got a tough early schedule, division, two division games in the first four. Luckily, I think three of those are at home. Uh, but we got to start fast in the first quarter of the season. So we got to come together uh, as a squad during training camp. Offense needs to figure out uh, the identity. Uh, training camp is just going to be about coming together and uh, pushing each other. We've got a great defense, so it's great practice for us on offense. Every day we're facing you know, a premier defensive line. You know, incredible linebackers, a great nickel, two of the top corner tandem, you know, in the league. You know, two solid veteran safeties. So it's a good look for us every single day of practice. We've got to find a way to get a little bit better every day. And um, I like our chances, but we're going to have a lot of fun. I can promise you that. How hungry are you to? To prove you're still that guy that won the back-to-back -back MVPs in 2020 and 2021. You know, as you get older, I think you realize the only person you got to prove anything to is yourself. So I'm just excited about setting high expectations for myself this year and then going out and proving that I can live up to those expectations. There's a lot of noise around us. Obviously, you know, my trade was a big story in the offseason. Um, you know, a lot of people talking about the New York Jets, which is exciting. That's how you want it. You want the expectations to be as high as possible. Part of goal number one, winning the East, getting a home playoff game, and then uh, once you're in the tournament, anything can happen. So, listen, I had a lot of fun at Green Bay, and we accomplished a lot. And I'm thankful for that time there, for my legacy there. This is a new chapter. And when it's new and exciting, there's a lot of different emotions come to, come to mind, but uh, I was laying in my bed the other night before I put my head down and, and, and passed out and just smiling, thinking about July 19th, getting it going. And, you know, it's been a while since I've been this excited. There's a lot of reasons for that, but first and foremost, there's a lot to accomplish this year. And to be talked about as one of those teams, now we got to go out and put it together and, and do it for... 17 regular season weeks and then doing the playoffs. Thanks, guys. When the team reports for camp on Wednesday, the new quarterback won't be the only player strolling into a hero's welcome. Thank you, bro. All right. Man, well deserved. They got to be the center of attention there. What's up? Man? What's going on? You know I'm melting down. How you doing? You know I like being the center of attention there. <laughs> Did so, you see the stuff outside? Oh, yeah. yeah. People, don't, people don't show up and let Dan come in. <laughs> Dan, you got Sarah here. You know what I'm saying? Sarah back with him. <laughs> Dan, 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 look, Danielle, you got Dan, brought Danielle and Seth out. What's this moment like for you, uh, putting pen to paper and, you know, seemed to just yesterday you were signing a rookie contract? Yeah. With the third pick, the New York Jets select Quinnen Williams. Quinnen Williams is as good as they come. Every single game, the most dominant player on the field was Quinnen Williams. By the time he's 25, boy, he's going to be a big time player. Just turned 25 this month. Williams is coming off of a career year where he was a first team all pro selection. Four hey. years, $96 million. Large, largest second contract ever for a defensive tackle. I mean, when I watch Quinnen Williams play, I have to watch standing up. Quinn Williams for the Jets, another disruptive pass rusher. And you can't block him with one guy. You can't block him with two guys. They had to reward him. They got it done. He's going to be a key piece of a very good defense for quite some time. Rejoice, Jet Nation, rejoice. <laughs> it has to be done, and this is exactly what the Jets are doing right. I feel like I'm getting old. <laughs> no, I'm just messing around, but... No, it feels good, man, just to uh, 
I guess see, uh, see the organization uh, trust me um, to give me four more years uh, to be able to play here, to be able to uh, work towards um, our accomplish goals of winning the Super Bowl here and uh, help push the organization to where we all know that they can go. So I'm super excited to be back with my brothers, man. Like I talk to them almost every day doing OTAs, like fill me in, update me, what's going on, what y'all installing, like how was present today, how the DNs looking, how the new uh the first round draft pick looking, man, like how you looking, like just um just just involved, 100 percent involved throughout the whole all season, different things like that. So have you flipped to the last page and like okay. do you have a pen? Yes, okay. I can book. My agent got me this pen and said, like, bless you, thank you on it. <laughs> Super cool. Do I actually sign it? You could sign it. Okay. But you're gonna have to sign it throughout. Okay. Atlanta, Georgia is okay. Ms. Williams. Thanks, hmm. All right, it's good. You know, oh my goodness. Congrats. Is there she is? I know she's hot. <laughs> I think the biggest challenge, I do nighttime. Uh, so that four o'clock in the morning feed is like the only challenge thing I see. Like, cause I, I got it down packed while I feed her at nine, then every three hours, but that like 4.30, 6.30 feed where I have to wake up early, early in the morning out of my great dreams and great deep sleep uh, to feed her. I think that's the only time that I feel, uh, oh my, this hard. That's it's, fair it's, to treat. It's good, man, it's good. Uh, what, have, what have you learned through the process? Uh, Get, sleep during the day. <laughs> yeah, sleep during the day because you're going to be up at night. So that's about a lot. Yeah. I look forward to like coming home after a great training day, taking a shower and like like feeding her body and doing skin to skin. Like that's like a, it's got, I guess, a bonding moment that like I can feel her energy. I can feel the heat of her body like, like on me and just like, it just bring us closer, I guess. Having a baby was definitely like a, like you say, something big, like, because it's like you're responsible for that little human being. And then seeing Quincy get his contract was so exciting. And then once Q got here, it's just like, we're family again. Like, we get to stay a family, enjoy the holidays during season. And I just love that both brothers are getting to play together and hopefully make history again. Well, it was pretty cool to see him get paid and see him um, be here for the next three years because the caliber player he is, uh, last year was his best year of his whole career. And I feel like that year was a, a testament to all the hard work he has and uh, the things he can do. Seeing him get paid, seeing him get what he deserves is an amazing thing. So. We just like the dream continues and stuff. So like our dream was playing um, on the same team with each other when we were younger. And then he just told me the dream continues. And then I had thought about it and I was like, oh yeah, it's go time now. Before her, before my wife, and before my family, and different things like that, um, I was just playing football because it was fun, because it was easy, because I was good at it. But now it's like you really have something to push you that extra, uh, what coach called it, 60% uh, every single down, every single day. Um, just thinking about your wife, thinking about your family, depending on you. So to set the standard on the field, to make sure I don't never take a playoff because I know my wife and my family are watching me, that's my biggest thing. Like, I have a why, a real why now. So. My main thing is not the money or different things like that, but leaving a legacy and going out there with my brothers each and every day and putting my best foot forward on helping them get better and also them helping me get better every single day. So when I look at legacy, it's not just um, Hall of Fame, which we all as a football player are sent to a Super Bowl, which we all as a football player want to get, but really be a great person off the field and just a great character person, not just because it's going to give me a legacy, because that's who I am. So. The sounds of summer. Each off season has its own buzz. But there are constant sounds year after year. Report day is here. What's this feeling like for you waking up 
report day and getting this thing going today? Yeah, I mean, for me, it's a, personally, it's a really good feeling. Um, I feel like I've been away from the game for too long now, like getting hurt last year. So it feels really good to uh, uh, get back to it. Report day is always a, a pretty big day for everybody in the facility. So excited to see the guys, coaches, and you know, get to it. A staple on the offensive line, Elijah Vera Tucker took major strides in 22, playing three different positions and establishing himself across the league. Oh yeah! Yes, yeah, sir! Yes, yeah, sir! Hey, dog, dog, dog. The former first round pick suffered an injury in week seven, prematurely ending his breakout season. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give him injuries. AVT is gone. Uh, he has a uh, uh, tricep that's gonna require surgery, so he's done for the year. Yeah, so I think, so like Broncos, we were playing the Broncos in Denver, like week seven. And the uh, uh, drive before, I think that was a drive like Brees broke out for like a 60, 70 yard uh, plus TD. And that had us rolling. So, you know, vibes were high, all that. And then go out there, it was like third and long, I think. Normal pass play, just setting that right tackle, going for a punch. And as soon as I punch, dude, I just feel like a little, snap in my uh in my arm i knew it was like my tricep but i didn't know how severe it was physically i feel i feel great right now um i feel like i've had a lot of time to rehab um both like physically and kind of mentally so like overall my mindset for today is it's kind of just going you know, i've done this before so i took my third one uh third training camp so overall i'm excited and uh yeah my body's feeling good man i'm, ex I'm excited to get rolling Checking in for his third training camp, AVT is ready to answer the bell for a breakthrough season. Oh, hi. How you doing, Mr. Yoon? How are you today? I'm good. Yourself? I'm good, thank you. You're with the... The Jets, yep. Yeah. Your name, please? Elijah, A-L-I-J-A-H. Vera Tucker, B-E-R-A, dash Tucker. Yeah, home sweet home for about, what, three weeks? Yes, indeed, man. Yeah, welcome. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Nah, no, whatever, bro. Yes, sir. enormous amount of attention. Having these cameras around, they want attention anyway. They want the bright light. Jets practices have a much different feel with Rodgers at the helm. Let's go! I am so excited for the season. This is the most magical season upon us. The Jets, Aaron Rodgers. I'm ready to take flight with the Jets, baby. Let's go! Woo! as the team and fans get used to number eight. Now is the time to put the work on the field. Despite all the cameras and attention, it's important to keep it loose. Oh. 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 
Hey, we finally playing football, man. We finally got the the big boy pads on, you feel me? About to see a lot of folds up, you feel me? A lot of straps though, you feel me? Yeah! Turn us up, turn us up. Hey, we on that Tommy today, bro. Let's go. Let's go, DJ. Dominate, bro. Let's go, Stanley. Let's, yeah. let's dominate. Yeah. Hey, let's go. Dominate on three. One, two, three. Dominate. Where the returners go? Where the returners go? Oh, returners down there. Hey, Mike, man. You got these hands on. You know what time it is. Yep. I ain't got to tell them. Dog had to be a dog. Yeah. Let's go. CBO on three. One, two, three. Yeah. I know you see me blocking for you trying to get your hands on. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Catch the pick six. The whole offense is fast, spread it Bro, I'm going to block. Hey, I, I block the offensive coaches. I block the offensive coaches. Like Shaq and Kobe. Shaq and Kobe. I'm Kobe. He's Shaq. Shaq. Nicolina. Shaq and Kobe. Shaq and Kobe. And we got John Stockton. <laughs> John, John, Jerry West. Jerry, Jerry West. Jerry West. <laughs> Steve Nash. I'm Shaq. I already called it. Steve Nash was Dallas. I'm Shaq. No, nah, he's Shaq. I already told This uh, Metal World Peace. Oh, yeah. Not even, not even Ron Artis. <laughs> Metal World Peace. Fishing. Yeah, you dare fish. Derek Fish. Hell no. Nah, Derek Fish is over here trying to cut. Who's there? I'm there when you need me. This uh, BJ Armstrong for the Bulls. He was solid, huh? To be remembered amongst the greats, there can be no secrets inside the white lines. If I see the center just look at me and run the opposite way, I'm like, I ain't that scary. Did he overset you? Huh? He overset. So I was gonna make an inside move no matter what, cause he overset. The center really literally looked at me and left. So it's like. Did you tell that to? We ain't Tell that to Lincoln. I'm gonna tell him when I get a chance. I'm gonna tell him about the president though. I'm gonna tell him right now. <laughs> <laughs> Blocking for any quarterback in the NFL is a challenge. Blocking for a future Hall of Famer in a pressure packed market, the stakes become even higher. Fingers up, thumb up from the ground. As fast as I can with accuracy. We want to hit with the palm of our hand. That's where the power is. Fingers up, thumb up, okay? Connor and everybody, pick a spot. Don't key him. Pick the spot you're going to beat him to. Watch that. You see what I'm saying? So load your stance and fire out off your left hand. And then try to flip your Bro, you're balling out. Appreciate it, my dog. This, I'm serious. Appreciate One of the best it. Got to keep on pushing. Yeah, and I think you still got even more. Like, you got yeah. like, a higher ceiling than you think. I just be peeping little bro, shit, bro. Like, I'm not even feeling like I didn't last year. Get that back, get that back, get that back. Stop. Turbo, stop. Come on. 18. Oh. 
first group. They got us on the first rack. Good job with Cadence on the one play. All right, good job with Cadence on the But if you look at this thing now, all right, this next period's got to be ours. We got to start trading blows. You understand? I'm talking to first group. We got to start trading blows. <laughs> Let's run a hitch. It's been first for spread. Oh my god! Hey yo! Hey, what you on, bro? I think we finished better than we started. All right, which is always the goal. Win the fourth quarter of every game. game in the fourth quarter of every season. Yeah. That's always the goal. Guys, we don't need more rah-rah guys, but what we do need to as a collective whole is to figure out who we want to be. Two couple weeks ago, we said identity, man. All right? Who are we going to be? You don't pick and choose. You don't wait to get your ass kicked and then turn it on. We're trying to eradicate privilege because if we all have one goal in mind and nobody has entitlement and we're all coming from the same spot, now all of a sudden, man, we can grow something really true and cool together. Gang Green on three, one, two, three. Gang Green. With week one a month away, the clock is ticking for the Jets to get into a rhythm. There you go. know what that mindset is. However it comes out of you, let it shine through. And that's why you'll be your best. All right, look into each other's eyes. If somebody's off, and you got to feel it, and they got to rise to their case, but you got to do it, all right, but by doing your job. That's the challenge. Every day you come out here, it's got to hurt. It's got to hurt, and I promise you, Sunday will feel a lot easier. I love where the mindset's going, man. I love the physicality, I love the line of scrimmage, I love the way you guys are working. Together, guys, we're gonna make each other better. The only way we're gonna do this is together, right? I'm gonna tell you, call with, practice well. But what we gonna do next? Now what? You know what I mean? Now what? Now what? What? Now all that right there. It's the mental strain to do right longer than your opponent is willing to go. That's football. All right. That's where, that's how we're gonna get to where we want to go. Everything in training camp is intentional. So when Coach Sala decides to change his end of practice routine, there's a method to the madness. With that said, on a happier note, I'm sick of talking to y'all. Where's Method Man? Right here. Oh, come on, man. Come break it down, dog. All right, I want to um, do a quote from Bill Parcells. Is that all right with y'all? All right, you can fool the whole world down the highway of years and take pats on the back as you pass, but your final reward will be heartache and tears if you cheat the man in the glass. Jets or three? One, two, three. Yes! Whoa. Hey, hey, I saw a video saying you bench 400 for some Uh, 335. 335? Hey, I'm drunk. <laughs> We got some work to do this afternoon. All right, we gotta get we gotta get better than that. Does that make sense? All right, come on here, Meth. All right, hey, this is turn this position hey, that can hey, 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 Boys, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. So happy that you're here, man. I know you're gonna do your numbers for us and put it all out there for us like you do. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Aaron Rodgers, bro. I want him to sign my name of Jersey. Is that possible? I don't want to take too much of your time up. That this right here, this is something that you'll never. Oh uh, man, we're so lucky to have you. We're glad to have you. I'm lucky to be here. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Love, love the city and just people will be great. Oh yeah, we're gonna embrace you. Yeah. Please believe it. As long as we win. As long as we win. We know how it works. We will. You're a veteran. So I'm gonna be league MVP again. Gosh. Yeah. We tank forever. Tell them stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's funny. These young cats have no idea. They have no idea <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> Let me put this out to you, Rick. Yeah. M E F. M E F. Yeah, that's how I spell it. M E F. Salute. That's how they do it. It's person. You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thanks. Legend, yeah. bro. Mm -hmm. You see me all the home formal. games. All right. I've been a season formal. ticket holder forever, so right. let's go. Let's go. Right. Number eight. Let's get through. For the Jets, Aaron Rodgers feels like the gift that keeps on giving. But he's receiving his fair share of gifts as well. A calm little tennis chain. You know, this is a gift. A gift from Al, Al the jeweler, my personal jeweler, you know. He wanted to do this for Aaron, and I, I said I thought it would be a good idea. So, if you look on the side, he got his name on there, you know what I mean? New York Jets on the other side. He's calm. Some slight? Some calm. Some, some slight? Some calm. I wish I could get one out of three. No, this is like, I think, I think A-Rod is my jeweler's favorite quarterback, you know what I mean? So. He wanted to do it, feel me? So you brought the cameras hear in? Me, hear me out, hear me out, feel me? <laughs> so you my jeweler's favorite quarterback. Okay. You know what I mean? Out the jeweler, if you don't know. And he wanted to cook up something special for you, you know? So he brought the idea to me. I said, I think it would be a good idea. You know, I don't know if it's his style, you know, because I ain't I never really seen. I ain't never, no, nah, it ain't no real. I ain't never, you got good teeth. I ain't never really seen you with like, with diamonds and none of that. Yeah, yeah. For the New York culture, you know, for the Jets fans, you know. To welcome you to New York. You know what I mean? I thought I thought he should do something calm for you. You know what I mean? So what you mean? I thought he I thought he I thought I thought he should do something calm for you. You know what I mean? Right. In this in this new chapter of your career. I appreciate it. You know, since you about to get after it. Thank you. You know? Thanks, you already got bro. your name right there. I mean, man. Can I wear it right now? You gotta put it on me, bro. Oh, all right, bet. I got some. Like I'm a jeweler. Yeah, all right, yeah, bet, bet, bet. Uh huh. I got you. I got you. It's kind of fire right there, bro. Uh -huh. Here you go. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Love. Thanks, bro. You already know yeah. it, man. Hey, that's was that just for the hey, cameras, or was that no? That was like for me. That wasn't just for the cameras. The brilliance of a diamond is in the detail. The cut, the carrot, gives it its character. For the 2023 Jets to reach their destiny, every detail counts. Dominate on three, one, two, three. Dominate. Dominate. Getting better every day, here we go. The focus, the precision, we all, just together. all in towards one goal. So, how do you respond to high expectations? What do you do with all eyes on you? This is the most anticipated training camp that I can remember for the New York Jets. The Jets have the New York media market. They got six primetime games, and Aaron Rodgers is playing quarterback for them. You've got cameras every which when way you, put you the turn. the biggest headline of the offseason, the biggest storyline of this NFL season. These guys have cameras around them all the time. And it's Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> <laughs> and it's New York. The only question now is how will this team respond when it matters most? 
Showtime.